Miss Q. We're in Kilkenny City in the Christmas Emporium. You can't swing the cat in here, so it's definitely single file. My car knitting project is a going to be a cow and I'm calling it my Christmas candies cow and it is out of one of the mini sets that I got from um, Vera Yarn Designs. She dies here in Ireland and I got that beautiful mini set, um, a couple mini sets from her and some of it I just thought looked like sort of Christmas sweets and actually I bought this lovely Christmassy bag. Um, which is the reds are looking more red than they actually are. They're more pinky red from Cottontail Farms And I got this from the um, Flying Needles yarn shop in Williamsburg, Virginia when I was there at the James River yarn crawl and these kind of colors also remind me of Christmas Sort of like Christmas candies. So I'm calling it my Christmas candy shawl and I've had a few different colors and I'll go into that later, but I'm just knitting it back and forth uh, garter stitch with some yarn overs knit uh, yarn over knit two together and it's going to be hopefully it will loop about three times around my neck and I'll seam it up uh, but I haven't totally decided if I'm going to seam it up I might put some fun buttons on or I don't know yet but so it, I was going off of a pattern that I uh, free on Ravelry called uh, the co-pilot shawl and I was looking for, you know, a shawl that I could wrap. And I got the stitch count off of that. But when I was looking at the pattern, she was having you knitted in the round. In order to get the garter stitch, you were purling. It's like 260 stitches, so you purl and knit. And I was like, you know, I, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to knit it, you know, flat. And uh, then I don't have to purl. And I can seam it together or I can put, you know, little buttons on it. Or, you know, I'll decide what I want to do. So yeah, so that's that's kind of what. So I'm doing. yeah, so I've I'm doing this, and I'll just tell you the name of the colors. Uh, so this is the Vera Yarn Designs, and she's based in Dublin, if I'm remembering correctly. This bright one here, oh, and it's it's looking too lurid. It's not quite that lurid, but it's called Pink Highlighter. It really looks like Pink Highlighter on the phone, but it's not quite as lurid as that. This one. So ice. this is Ice Cave that I've finished already. It's really lovely, Ice Cave. And this is her Merino Sock High Twist, although I w it has no nylon. So I wouldn't ever use it for socks, but I like the fact that it has no nylon for other this things. This color is Ivy, and this color is called Euphorbia milii, which is a type, it's a, the Latin for a type of Euphorbia plant. And that's really lovely. And that just reminded me of sort of like Christmas candies sugar plum berries or something I don't know so yeah that's my project so we're coming into Kilkenny City we're gonna see um, the castle in a minute Kilkenny is not a city in the traditional or the sense as you might know it it's a city because it got a city charter back in the day they have and they have cathedrals and stuff so it's like a small very small sort of city or a very large town but let's zoom in here. So we're getting ready to approach Kilkenny Castle. Zoom out again. And then across from it is there's the food hall, the design center, and then back there is the craft craft council's museum, which is really nice. And uh, hard to get it into the and the Christmas market was on I mean it is on on the weekends it's not open now because today is Monday and uh, so yeah
yeah we're just popping in here to do a little shop at the lovely sort of you know specialty food shop the little green grocer which is really yummy so we'll head down this street probably really the main shopping street in Kilkenny and Kilkenny is a medieval city as you can see like so the roads and all are narrow and there's a lot of little laneways off of them it's a really cute little city and reminds me of Ennis and this is also a medieval city but it's not as big like it. it's not quite so busy and there's the fossil and behind there also is the medieval museum and this is called the medieval mile at the other end is St. Canice's Cathedral which is absolutely beautiful and of course medieval as well zoom in a little bit more now but all the different little shop fronts and yeah I love all the different colors And there's the Smittix. That was the, the brewery there. And you can go in there and um, take their tour. I guess still. I mean, I actually, yeah. Oh, I see the signs. Yeah, you can still do that. Ooh. So we're at Cake Face. Look. Coming up on to Clears, my favorite pub when I lived in Kilkenny, they always had a really lovely little soup and sandwich, really good music, live music, kind of quirky, you know, really good people of different types. Um, yeah, lovely atmosphere. Of course, I haven't been in there for six years, but uh, yeah, if you're in Kilkenny, I'd say definitely check it out and then right across the street from the Watergate Theatre where you can see some good shows as well. are starting to come up in the pots. What do you think? Yeah, some spring bulbs, some midwinter bulbs. It's a beautiful blue sky day, but there's a breeze that is cold. In the middle of hanging up my advent yarn candle calendar from Robin's Promise. Okay, so I think I'll just go ahead and I'll open my first um, yarn advent calendar today. Um, I mean, it is the first, but I was going to wait till I hung them all up and then I was going to show you. But I think I'll go ahead and do this. This year's advent was very special to the dyer, who is also called Susan, and she dyes Robin's Promise, Robin's Promise yarn from Williamsburg, Virginia in the States. And she was saying how she was inspired to dye this calendar from... The memories of her grandmother reading from the 1969 25 cent version of The Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore and illustrated by Florence Sarah Winship. I've kept many books from my childhood, she says, including this one. And the book and its colorful illustration oh. completely happy memories that can dispel any bad day. So I also had this book. And this is my actual book that I had as a child, and my parents used to read this to me. And so, so the advent calendar, I was like, oh my goodness, because I've been trying to decide what advent calendar I might get this year. And that settled it, because this is super, super special to me. And you can see it's well loved. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, wrote my name in it. I remember doing this and it wasn't like, you know, sometimes people think children are destroying their books. But what I was doing is like at some of these points before I could write, I was trying to write. You know, that was my version of also writing. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of my scribble in it. And then when I learned to write my name, my name is in it. But um, it's super, super special to me. 
So that's the advent calendar that I got. Let's open envelope number one. Ooh, yeah, that is lovely. Look at this. This is the house of the night before Christmas. And look, it surely is. That's wonderful. I'm so excited. So this Advent, Christmas just is my favorite time of year. It means a lot to me. I'm very lucky in that I have happy memories of Christmas and not everyone does. And for that, I'm very grateful. And uh, this is it. So I get very excited because I love surprises. I get very excited about Advent calendars. Last year was the first year I ever got some, and that was special. And this one is even more special because it's about this special, inspired by this special book. And I have to say, it might have been partially because of this book, but I have always loved this style of house. Looking at that now, I'm thinking about that, you know, with the gingerbread molding. And even though it's not really a style that would be traditional in Ireland at all, sometimes I've thought about putting a little bit of gingerbread molding around the cottage. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so there is our first yarn. There we go. That's probably a bit better in the light from Robin Promise Yarn. And uh, do you, you can check out her dye, her uh, yarns at robinspromiseyarn.com and also at the Flying Needles shop in Williamsburg, Virginia in the States. So day one. Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope it's wonderful for you.